camera. No, we're at the wide shot. The wide shot. Oh, there we go. No wide shot. Let's get this settled in. This is producer-free uh, podcast. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what, it is. what do you think it. about this? Anything goes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, I don't get to blame anybody for anything. Yeah. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's Chris, and uh, continue our holiday week content. Uh, we've got our friends Nick and TJ from Brews on the Balcony, and uh, formerly some radio alumni as well. Radio man. alumni. Good to see you guys, man. How you been? Doing well. Doing well. We're here at uh, Midcoast Studios. I built all this myself. Ah, it looks it's great. completely it on great. me. It the, looks not great. the other three businesses or people <laughs> or everything. No, man, it's cool. We're uh, you guys know. Uh, listen to the show. It's Midcoast Studio. Mm-hmm. Check out Midcoast.media for more info. Uh, real quick, I met Nick and TJ through AM Radio. Gosh, five ninety the fan, uh, nine twenty CBS Sports. And these guys, you guys, are you guys even 25 yet? Yeah, we're, we are both 25, 25 Both 25? Yeah. 25 okay. Yeah. I'm older, yeah. though, so I'm better You're, than Nick. By 12 so. days, he's older. Yeah. Nick, Nick's beard suggests... 34 uh, is what you're putting. You're rugged. Even if you put a little salt and pepper in yeah. there, you do all right. Well, let's get, let's get, let's get this out of the way right away. Who do you think he looks like? <laughs> because this I is all it? he talks about I'm on the show. I'm not wearing the hat yeah. today. Oh, okay. So there's a, all right. There's I have no certain clue. Person. This is, it's not, and then whenever you say it, I'm going to be like, ah, uh, I'll course. just say you know, blues, it's a blues hockey player. Oh, blues, O'Reilly. Right? <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. There yeah. Is. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. We started already. So is this, is this a recurring theme on Bruise on the Balcony? Unfortunately. And then we went out to a bar and some girl comes up to me and goes, you look like Ryan O'Reilly, but cuter. And oh, like, come on, yeah. no, but Let's cuter. Go. Yeah, yeah I, like, I would have said with less muscle mass and less athletic. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's like that, 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 that you know. That's, 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 that's what most people say. I that's can't what you're skate. looking for. I can't skate. <laughs> well, someday you may. Uh, yeah. You never know. Yeah. No, it. I, I fell down on the Winter Classic rink. I, I'd like to tell that story. Why were you at the Winter Classic? Were you covering yeah, something? Yeah, we were okay. covering it. it was oh my was God, at. were you videoing for Hannah? Yes. Holy shit. We were. That's hilarious. And well, I didn't have the actual camera. It was at the media skate, and I fell down. I I had, I'd skated I think once before. A lot of national hockey media are oh. former play, former players. Oh, yeah. NBC, so they, they look like you're NBC more. was literally twenty feet from where I was, they, ready to go, cameras ready to go live on set, and I just ate shit. <laughs> TJ, <laughs> can I please pay what someone to get that video? Yeah, it was, <laughs> like, no, they weren't they weren't rolling. Out there? Fortunately for my sake, but yeah, I got a bloody, I had a gash. Did you I had to get stitched up file by suit against your former uh, no, employers? No, I did not. Should you have? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. I you know what kind of boots you could be wearing? I signed a waiver <laughs> when, before going out on the ice. And, yeah. uh, and so I, it was completely my fault, but it was a good story. That's Ho- good. Hockman saw from the from Ben the press Hockman. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sees that. Uh, no, so you guys were in radio. I know TJ has a broadcast background. Mm-hmm. Lindenwood for college, Yeah, right? still there doing play-by-play. Doing yeah. play-by-play, but you mm-hmm. went to school there, and then now you're their guy. Yeah, so nice. I went to went to SEMO for a couple of years, transferred, and then uh, started doing play-by-play and stuff. Eventually came back full-time and yeah, doing football and basketball for him. So that's that's nice. a big deal, man. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I like the fact that we get kind of both sides of it, though. You know, you get to do... The play-by-play sports side, serious, and then the podcast have a little fun with it. So it's kind of a nice mix. Do you worry? So I don't. I have. I've seen clips and everything. But as far as the content goes, um, how comfortable are you with your employer hearing something on the show that uh, maybe somebody doesn't need to hear? Yeah, I've thought about that before. I mean, we've been doing this for a year and a half, so I feel like it no would have happened yeah. already. I mean, the <laughs> first few months, I was a little skittish. I mean, it's not like we go fucking crazy. I mean, right. we cuss every time and, and once in a while and stuff. We but don't cuss on here. You don't cuss? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm tough. so sorry. I'll leave now. <laughs> yeah, uh, all, the, all the comics coming <laughs> in are really the, the, tight-lipped. Yeah. Yeah. The producer really. wasn't there to drop out they the They just got back from uh, Bible, uh, Bible study. Yeah, yeah I understand. That's, we only do Christian comics. Yeah, sure. Show, so. I understand. Um, yeah. No, it's been good. Honestly, they they've been pretty... Uh, cool about it i mean following it even asking about it and like in a good way like asking about what i do and what i'm trying to do and stuff so it's kind of nice they've been able to kind of let me do my thing and uh honestly i've actually been off these last two months because i'm only 10 months over there so it's given me an opportunity to work on our stuff a little bit and have some fun weber y'all media that's yeah, it we're Yale. grinding damn it oh see, you were see, so i close. knew it was yale <laughs> i wasn't gonna and correct people you, are like, oh nick y'all no yeah. so weber yell media weber you yell guys media. doing that so we're we're doing i mean i'm in my 30s man i'm trying to think i started a small business when I was 27 or 28 yeah. and it is, and I did it wrong and taxes and everything, oh, and yeah. covering grind. your ass, it's making sure you have, it is crazy, but you guys are buddies. What's the, uh, let's just fucking, let's get behind it. What's the experience been like getting things off the ground? Cause this is your it, primary income. Yes. Well, you've got a, you've got a serious yeah, it's job. My right, primary right. Income. Your prim- yeah. It was my, uh, it's my second company. I started another one with a different group. And, brag. and they kind of helped. We had a business advisor that kind of always helped, bragging. That yeah. helped us. I always brag. He I really does. Talk my okay. shit up. Yeah. Uh, and so I had 
been a little bit familiar with the process when when TJ kind of talked to me about maybe starting our own company because mm-hmm. we did some things. I've done some things in the past for different client clients, and uh, when I was working at other jobs, I'm like, you know, I we can do this ourselves, and we can do it better. And Something in it. like people like all of us yeah. that where you're yeah. like, because it's a way, and again, you risk getting fired, right? But it's way there's two different mindsets where you're just like huh, how are they doing this and yeah. what could i do to not have to listen to somebody else tell me what to do it right but, and don't and rely on other people you know right yeah that's the thing i mean it's like it's been nice you know obviously we're not making a ton of money because we we're reinvesting brand in new podcasts yeah. and things yeah. like that so you know you take you are taking some risks i mean i still live with my parents and i'm eating peanut butter and jellies instead of oh, you know so good though. going they out good. Right. Yeah. yeah so you know you got to make some sacrifices here and there that you know people don't always see they always yeah. see the glamour so oh, nick never works like you know that kind of shit and it's that's a problem you, you, when you, you work, but people just don't see. It's just yeah, a different it's, type of work. It's not right, a right, traditional right. nine to five. I know? had somebody say, like, oh, yeah, podcast guy. And I'm like, podcast uh, guy. Sure, <laughs> podcast like, guy. Yes, that is we part do of a two-hour, five-day a week show for the next 10 hours after every show. And I get here an hour before the show, too. The 10 hours after, I'm emailing bars and, re- and, and, and Trindy, man. And liquor yeah. and all this stuff where it's like, all I do is just work all the yes. time. And then the podcast is the uh, the fun part. And then that's the first thing that suffers creatively yeah. as well. Because <laughs> yeah, like, sure. hey, Chris, write jokes for this uh, segment you're doing Friday. And it's like, oh, great. Yeah, I should have time. And then seven minutes before the show starts, it's like, I don't have time to come up and be Yo, funny with yeah. playing jokes. Like, <laughs> See, that's right. That, that's what we love about doing our podcast is the zero show preparation. Oh, no, man. We even admit it to our audience. We're very whatsoever. open with our audience. Like, say, we, we've done no show prep. We got nothing today. Like, yeah. this is, we're just going to talk. And, and we're going to see how we like feel. That yeah. somehow. It hasn't faltered yet. So. Dude, we did three hours evening radio when we first started, and there was no producer. It was Travis and I. Occasionally, we would have like five or things. We'd have guests, and then you'd have a few times where we'd write a few things down. Right. That was three hours. We did take breaks, but at the same time, that's all we were doing. And that, yeah, yeah. the madness that you create from that, though, I think that's what people well, it's do. It's real, like, like raw content. I mean, it's like real people talking, yeah. and that's what we kind of let our audience know when they came on. That's why people, we've been seeing a slow growth. It's nice because. They know we're real guys. We don't take yeah. ourselves too seriously. We don't think we're any better than anybody else out there. And when you're younger you know, too, so it's opened up to like more people you literally know. Yeah. Yes. Won't they're not like you do what to do who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Right. come on. You uh, still have people yeah. that aren't. Uh, I mean, I think you're married, right? Yes. You yes. have people that are a lot of times single and don't have kids yes. yet that have time to go out to events you guys are doing or do whatever. Right. It's always right. funny to see. Um, Guy, everybody goes through that phase. You have people that went to private school here in St. Louis, and their events are just bomb until they're like 27, and then all of a sudden they get, they're like, "Yeah, this is a lot of work, and nobody wants to do anything right, anymore." Right. And people are busy and uh, have families to worry about. But, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So for the podcast, for the media company, everything else, um, who are you modeling after? Well, I mean, I wouldn't what say you, modeling who you inspire, who, you, who inspires you guys to to grow and to I guess push forward creatively and you're also doing a business side too like, yeah. what right. do you want to be so it actually started with a podcast i actually went up to nick and it was kind of funny because like a month before I, I we already knew each other a little bit he came mm-hmm. on the old radio show a few years ago and everything and uh always stayed in touch you know i always wanted to have people that were in the same field as me that were my age like kind of collaborating and everything and again hopefully starting I, something how do we how how did those radio guys that hated each other like i guess they just had to show up and do the yeah, show probably. Yeah, yeah. i i won't i won't work with anybody i don't like no <laughs> yeah like, how could you how could you separate it you know what i mean this is high stress situation well, especially the show's supposed to be like you guys having fun and being real and it's like if i'm real it's like <laughs> fuck you dude yeah, it's right, like, right, yeah, like yeah, for yeah. real it's like do you think that's where uh who's the the giant the biggest morning show ever in sports um they just broke up uh come on Sports, sports, radio? morning Giant. radio. Um, Mike and Mike. Oh, Mike and Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. They yeah. like. Do you think they were ready to kill each other? Oh Probably. no, I think they got along. Oh, honestly, see, I mean that's the thing where you're where you're doing a radio show, but you're at a, a larger employer like mm-hmm. like the mother the mother uh what, mothership. mothership mothership. That, yeah, yeah. That's what we always call it. All, the always mother. Called it. Yeah, there you go. The mother at ESPN, and uh, so you have like a higher boss, like kind of controlling and consultants and all this oh we need to do it this way this mm-hmm. way versus you know like us when we're doing our own thing it's there's nobody higher up saying hey tj and nick you need to you need to do this today right. and we're like yeah fuck you when we you do, we're not, we're <laughs> yeah, right, when right, you right. did that read you should end higher yeah right. yeah what? okay Nobody we got cares, sponsors right. paying money here you know it's like we well, don't have any nice sponsors because we're we broke, keep ourselves so. <laughs> it works, occupied it though right but we also help each other out and say yeah. like hey maybe we should change this hey maybe we should do this so we're not sitting there laying on the couch like oh next week maybe we'll run the business like we're 
we're getting our grind out. We know what it takes, and obviously, it's it's been paying off so far. That's so. awesome, man. That's a good feeling too. So I think I cut you off. So who do you who do you want to model yourself after? Who do you want to at least pull inspiration from? So, um, like I said, when me and Nick talked in January, I told my dad in December. I said I need to find somebody else like like me, and I didn't mean it the way it sounded. I meant like I need somebody that that wants a to horrific work. Horrific narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I need someone exactly he like has me. Everybody a shrine else sucks. For himself yeah. in his <laughs> office. Yeah, That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, it's bad. I get uh, it. Right. I mean, obviously, I, I pray to myself every morning. Yeah. Um, I do a show with a guy <laughs> like that five days a week. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, when I talk to my dad, I'm like, I need to find somebody that wants to grind, that wants to build something. I want to be my own boss one day. I said that since I was, like, a kid, for real. I said That's I want to awesome. run my own shit. I didn't know what it was, and now I do. And then I contacted Nick and said, I got this idea. Uh, and to answer your question, long-winded answer is uh, Barstool. I mean, yeah. I'm a big Barstool guy, and obviously – some of their stuff's a little over the top. I mean, I think that they are good at what are. they do, but mm -hmm. the the way that they do their podcasts and their video content, the fact that they never let the cameras go off, it's kind of a real life situation. Everybody's not really fake. There's maybe a little shit played up, but I told Nick about it and I said, I like Barstool. I like their idea. I think we can do it in a different way, make it St. Louis based, but then also grow it outside of St. Louis. And well, we kind of talked and made it what it is. The congrats, by the way, for at least you know paying attention enough to to a bigger thing. I guess you'd say they. I want to say they started off. They were like a sports blog at best. Yeah. Like yeah, I yeah. want. I think and they uh, started with Dave, Dave in Boston. I what it was. with yeah. newspapers. Yeah. He was going out in Boston and handing yeah. newspapers out to people and saying, "Hey, do you like this?" You what know? do we? And again, I don't know. And this is we've talked about it on our show too, where it's like. You have people that are like, ah, oh, they're this, they're that, they're whatever. Usually the answer is somewhere in between, right, of what yeah. you have somebody yeah. here, somebody there. What do we, what should I, what is somebody who doesn't, I'm aware of them, and I'm mm -hmm. aware how successful they've got, and I've had really smart people say, that's a great model, mm -hmm. like, yeah. to me. What, what do you, how do you guys separate, or is there separation with, I guess, I don't even like the word problematic, with the things that get tossed their way, in regards to accusations and stuff. I like, think we usually stay there, away from that it, shit, Are they just you know? so big yeah, I mean, that it's well, like I mean, eventually and, it's going to happen? Where Everybody hates Walmart and, they and have, then they yeah. go to fucking Walmart. There's a, line, right. there's a line and they sometimes push the line. Mm -hmm. And I mean, especially, you know, with, you know, they say it's a big frat, frat you know, house well, the whole first time. Of all, yeah, I mean, but it's course, run by yeah. Eric Nardini, who's pro one, that's the smartest move they ever made was making her their CEO. CEO, CEO because, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, at least you know she can be the higher up from a business aspect. Dave can be out doing his shticks and he's a character, and, right? Yeah, he's right, a character. Right. But like they are smart about what they're doing. And as far as like our show goes, I mean, you know, we don't talk about politics or religion at all. We just keep that zero, zero. I mean, yeah. hard yeah. and fast rule, and, and that'll drive. You know, some people like to discuss that, but sure. we're just like you know we're not yeah, going to be yourself. We're not yeah, going to touch that. Sure. We're just going to be you know more entertainment based, kind of just yeah. hanging out. You know. Normal shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, we're not trying to get any of the, the crazy shit that goes on in the world and involved in the show. We don't want people to get fucking pissed off. We're, we're here to have fun. It's a we're leisure here to just, show. Exactly. Yeah, no. And I think a lot of people need that. I mean, yeah, we've gotten... Definitely. We were just doing it, I mean, honestly, just to hear ourselves talk. We like doing it if we had two listeners. And... I mean, we have three, but I mean, good for you. Know. you. I'm <laughs> proud of you. Yeah, that's you, two me, more than and I thought. And my mother. Yeah. Yeah. And our, our, your parents. Yeah, my dad doesn't even listen anymore. It's, I was going to say, parents yeah. say they listen. <laughs> it's just, they yeah. say they listen. That's it's the like, thing. mom, I can see the downloads. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Oh, you're doing. but I mean, I think there's like, you know, there's so much shit that goes on in the world, like especially through social media. Bad, 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 bad. Like, I'm not watching the. I don't want to watch the news. I'm going to share like dog memes and shit like that, and just kind of right. make. I mean, I say like if you can make one person smile or laugh for the day, you're you're doing you're doing okay. For sure, especially and, doing and, that. Yeah, it's just having a nice distraction from all the crap that's going on. And you guys can nice. probably attest to this too. I mean, it's about having fun. We enjoy every single thing we do, putting together content. It's a grind at times. It's it's yeah. a it's a job in a in a way, but we like it. We that's why we keep doing it. And we kind of sit there and sat back the other day and go, "Holy shit, we've been doing this a year and a half." It just kind of like snapped like that, you know. Yeah, and Hard two, if you if you said it out loud, I mean, uh, well, they didn't exist, but if like you told your grandpa, it was like someday I'm going to do this for a living. Right. It's like, that would just blow everybody's mind, yeah. right? So if you can step back and appreciate it, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, Brews, so it's in the name. What are we, uh, you guys had a tournament going on, have a tournament going on online, we a little do. social media? Yeah. Do. What's, yeah. uh What are your favorite? They're doing a drink 
Uh, yeah, we what, what are we, kept, best drink of all yeah, time? Yeah, best alcoholic drink, but mm. without wine and without beer. Because oh, wow. Because there's, there's, you know, wine best can, mixed drinks, and beer yeah. can yeah. have probably its whole, you know, its own category. Sure. So. Beer especially. There's so many snobs out there. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we were doing, you know, Long Islands and Whiskey Cokes and Mai Tais and Daiquiris. <laughs> I don't know what the and, fuck a Mai Tai is. Yeah, yeah. I saw it online. Say, Tom right. Collins. I'm sorry, the committee saw it yeah, online. Yeah, the committee. That's, yeah, yes. the committee. Right, right. Well, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, so... Does it give you points if I vomited those all up? <laughs> yeah. like, which one, like which one burns more yeah. on the way up? I right. mean, what's Margarita the is the number one seed, and I, and that I think is going to be the winner. Mm-hmm. Uh, just early breaking news. It made it to the championship. It made so it official. to the wow. championship. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You heard wow, it, you heard heard it here and we are live. Wow. You heard yeah. it here I mean, first. You don't get that type of content on Bruise even. This is live shit. This yeah. is great. This, yeah. is, this is high quality. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it's better than what, anything we've done. Uh, Margarita is the number one seed, and I think that's going to probably take it down. Whiskey okay. Coke is in the finals, too. Too. So it's uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a what's rough your, one what's for whiskey your drink coke. coke. Oh what's man, your drink I mean it depends on the age. So as you like, once you kind of get enough whiskey cokes in you, you're like, boy, I made <laughs> like, more decisions <laughs> when I drink that. Margaritas, uh, you might have an argument with your significant other after dinner at the Mexican restaurant, but. I think margarita is probably it's an easy choice. It's a, it's uh, a good one. Overall, it's the most liked, I think. You know, fat fat guy drink is vodka soda, and those okay. are just That's refreshing. What I do. And See, I've, easy I've to been do. getting into vodka sodas. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, and it's embarrassing because you, know, you you sit there like, oh, what's the line? I need another lime. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah. It's like they're doing the no sugar thing. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> You're doing the no it's, sugar. Yeah. They give you the eye roll and like, yeah. okay, just take the whole fucking thing. And right. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So if I have to like by choice, like because you know I can't just go somewhere and have a good time. To have a drink somewhere if I'm trying to watch it. Yeah, fuck right. this. Yeah. But, but I mean, dad bods are in, though. So that's Thank yeah, you. They are. That's, yeah. that's, that's a exactly big thing right, right now. Now so. I know. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, live stuff. Anything you guys have coming up you want to plug, man? What's going on? I know you have a big football thing coming up. Yeah. So we have been actually looking at your guys' stuff. We've wanted to do more Facebook Live and mm-hmm. kind of see how we do our, our show live so people can get involved more. You know, all, the only thing we have is basically voicemails and texts, which, you know. That's fun, though. It, it's yeah. fun. It makes yeah. it fun. We want to get the live aspect in there, so we do a recording, so it's not like we can really do live Interact. shit yet, yeah. but we do have an idea. So uh, last year, we did a football podcast where me and my dad and uh, Zach Zook is actually involved with us. He's a fantastic NFL guy, um, and what we're going to do is try to go to bars and do a live Sunday show. Oh, that's so great. So every t- like, that's going to be scheduled, so every 10 to 11 a.m. on Sundays, whether we're in studio, we are trying to sell bars, but if we have to do it in studio, we will. Um, going to be talking about picks, talking about gambling, talking about a bunch of different shit with NFL Sunday, and hopefully give somebody, a, a, people a different feel. You know, it's going to be, you know, us cussing, having a good time, drinking beer, you know, some stuff it's that Fox and CBS it, can't find. Yeah, yeah, so it should be fun. So uh, check us out. We'll be- definitely be doing that. So That's awesome. Are you excited about that, yeah. too? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it'll be my first season doing the football show. Are uh, you happy to be on the mic now besides yeah. behind the scenes? I am. I yeah. am. I, I, I've, uh, when I was in college, I was down at KOMU. I was kind of doing in front of the camera stuff. Okay. And then I took a little bit of a back seat to become a producer. And then when I came to St. Louis, I was doing behind the scenes. But I love being on camera and, and having a, it up. having a seat at yeah. the table, it, it's good to know both, know how to do both. I right. mean, it's, oh, you it's make, definitely I mean, helpful. You can the get a job quicker yeah, as a production can. person. For and, sure. Yeah. I mean, so it's a nice little outlet to be able to have our podcast, to be out you know, on awesome. camera doing shit. Because I just try to, again, I was doing, when I was doing the TV stuff, it was, you know, it was pretty strict. You know, you're doing live shots, you're doing mm-hmm. all this crap. But then I can come out here and run a beer mile or just like be funny and because yeah. i don't care being made fun of i'm just going to go out there and do shit and make people laugh and that's yeah. what that's, that's what it's good. about that's why, why else would you do it right exactly. every yeah. time I mean, so yeah. that's awesome man so where can everybody find your instagram super busy what's yeah. the best way to uh, support you guys? Uh, at balcony brews pod so we're twitter facebook instagram youtube nice. uh, at balcony brews pod or search brews on the balcony and you'll you'll be able to find us there and then yeah i think we're uh, we're doing some do, doing some cool stuff with local brew magazine as yeah. well um, local so, brew yeah at I, local brew i'm an mag. avid reader yeah so at local brew mag they are uh they're they're, they're starting something cool with some breweries around st louis that we're going to be partnering with them and putting out some neat content that's really cool do you have uh do you guys get into the beer scene at all like that's yes. the thing i worked starting to I, I worked at a brewery for five years and i was where'd like, you work at flat branch in columbia okay I so love flat branch. oh my gosh it love was flat insane branch. it's uh i saw they released their strawberry uh, lager and i was like the if you people knew the horrific things that happen to a staff of 100 people in a college town and the mixing of whatever the hell was going on with uh, 
Customers coming in. Uh -huh. Strawberry season, divorces are happening. <laughs> new, new, re new relationships are happening. Uh, Weird threesomes yeah. are happening. Like people, because it's so good, the people lager. sit there and yeah, they're yeah, like, well, yeah. it's summertime. I'll just pound down a growler of strawberry. Yep. Lager. Like, a growler. You just That's drank four beers in like two seconds. Like, what are you doing? Dial I always back. looked forward to strawberry season because people will be like, it's like sneaky. It's not even that strong. It's a 5% beer or something. Mm -hmm. And but it was so good, they just pound them down, and then all of a sudden they're whoa, oh, and it's gonna get weird. Hit you hard, yeah. That and then barley wine season, because barley wine was like, if you drank a vintage, it was like a twelve percent, and people would just be like, "Oh, this is really good." I'm like, "You're about to act really strange." <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, thirty minutes. Yeah. Shout out to Flat Branch Strawberry season I and whatever Flat marriages Branch. are ending or starting. <laughs> or starting, yeah. yeah. That or sounds start. pretty good. There I can get some of that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now I'm like craving it, the strawberry ale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a wheat beer guy. So yeah, I like the wheat beers. I'm getting into the pale ales a little bit. Yeah, and I've already cycled through that, like working yeah, there. Yeah. I started there in like, I don't know, 2006 when I was like 21. So when you get to that point where you're like, that's all you'll drink yeah. is the pale ales and yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's super hoppy and all this stuff. And then you go on a float trip and you try and be cool guy with the IPAs and you're right. shit hammered at like 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, why didn't I just drink Tecate? Like, what's, <laughs> what's wrong with me? Where did, where did I yeah. go wrong? Yeah. So, yeah, I've cycled through. I'll enjoy those. But, yeah, it's, it's funny to watch the phases and the amount of nerdery involved mm -hmm. and how into it people get because it's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's, it is a good time to get Some into Some people, though, judge you hard depending on, like, your beer. Like, some, like, when I was, like, a couple years ago, like, I had no idea anything about craft beer. Mm -hmm. I was like... You hand me a beer, I'll drink it, you know? Yeah. And I'm starting to get my, my palates, like, yeah, kind of will, maturing bro. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you yeah, will. Yeah, hell get yeah. It. So I used to say, like, oh, yeah, I like Bud Light. And they're like, oh, Bud Light, what, what a joke. I like, I'm like Bud okay, Light. It's fine. Sorry, <laughs> right. I fucking pissed you this off, man. Light like, has <laughs> a lot of flavor. This is a very full-flavored beer. Yes. I, yeah, he wasn't trying to tell you that it was this amazing. <laughs> yeah, people like that will oh, turn people God. off of yeah, any scene. Like, yeah. Oh, get out of here. I like stouts, yeah. though, man. My, my buddy's a big beer guy. He got me into stouts, like, four hands and all that stuff. Like, super good. Super good. Man, it's it's tough for uh, a male in the winter year uh winter months in st louis you get nine thousand different stouts that get released right and it's dark at 5 30 so i'm like oh i have a beer stouts don't get you that drunk either all of a sudden you've had four tall bottles oh. which is the equivalent of like eight thousand calories in a day and boy do you get fat really quick? <laughs> <That'll fill laughs> so up. I hear. That'll Whenever you up. do that, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So watch out. Beware. For this one. It sits in your stomach like a ton of bricks, but it's worth it. I think it's, it's worth delicious. It. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, thank you guys for coming. You came thanks by to us. say hello absolutely, and you yeah. jumped on for a podcast. Yeah. So We snuck our way in. It yeah. worked out. Uh, big thanks to Tech Electronics for all the great stuff in the studio, all of other wonderful sponsors. It's been a, uh, a very special uh, we are live for the holiday week. So, guys, thank you. I'm going to get up because there's no producer, and I'm not going to edit this either. I'm going to walk <laughs> over and turn off the computer. So there don't say or do anything weird in the right, meantime. Won't. Nick sucks. I'll just I'll do a thumb war with you, there TJ. Okay, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, no, no, I don't want to no, do that. No, no. Oh. I'm good. I thought that was, I thought that was going to be perfect. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> All right.